Bacon 22 by the bay. Rain, heavy falls tomorrow to 100 mils forecast and the chance of a thunderstorm as well, 20 degrees. 21 showers easing Sunday, possible shower Monday, 21, partly cloudy Tuesday, 21 degrees. Currently rates of 16, sunshine. The old weather is a big thing. If you know anything or you're worried about anything, we'll talk to the meteorology uh, to the meteorologist in just a moment. But that wonderful song, isn't it? Nothing left with by bit. Bit by bit I'm going to the Thirmley Lakes today. Particularly communities where this is going to hit strike the most savage. I guess we'll start with um, today. It's going to be like a 72. 72 bands. And this one will be like a... Uh, well, we're looking at actually central southern parts of Queensland and central uh, New South Wales. we got totals in excess, widespread in excess of 30, pockets up to 60, uh, spreading from around the Emerald area, clear down through Condoblin, uh, including Coonamble and St. George. Uh, now tomorrow, oh my God, they need the rain. They yeah, need the rain. Um, so that's in inland from the Great Dividing Range. Today, that's correct. Because I'm holding camera next. And you're doing that. We just need to do a depth search. system will shift east and intensify. Is there... Put our 30 mil. Oh, we've gone from that point, so we pretty much want to get past the flat edge. So as we're drilling, we will see some strong winds develop across the coast. You were saying uh, very strong, and particularly the Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast. Uh, in Brisbane area, so we can see gusts up to and exceeding 90 kilometers an hour. But uh, really, uh, we're seeing these widespread totals in excess of 100 millimeters. It's far inland as, uh, say, um, maybe Warwick. Yeah. And then uh, extending to, of course, the coast, where the coast will get the highest... Uh, so that will include Brisbane, Gold Coast? That's correct, yeah, yeah. And then when does it come south? Did they go past the flat? No. And we're passed out at our depth, passed our flat on the side. Then we'll give him a dry run just to be sure. Measure twice, cut once. So it, and that also will extend on uh, on Saturday uh, evening. It'll extend south and it'll probably reach around the Kempsey area. Yep. Um, and uh, on Sunday, though, is where it really begins to impact New South Wales, in particular Sydney. You know, they have nozzles on those things. Yeah. Well, if I had my one, yeah. I just like to. And do you wanna would you like to May I? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
although we'll see rainfall rates uh, increasing across Saturday in Sydney, uh, peaking on Sunday, uh, but the entire New South Wales coastline is on track for uh, in excess of... And on Sunday, does that go over the range, or are you only going down to oh, the Kiamas, yeah. the Kiamas, Marimbulas? Uh, does it get to the Southern Highlands? Yeah, so um, it's mostly to the east of the ranges on Sunday. Flash flooding is a risk. I wouldn't classify this event as anywhere near the, you know, the 2011 flood. And back to work. You clean your gap gun out, James. <laughs> oh, I've got a bit of snow. Come, wait, come, come over here, close, close. They're following my bee, man. I am. I'll be beat. It might be reasonably close to what we had last May uh, when we had that east coast low coming through. And that weather system led to the deaths of five people who got caught in flash flooding around the southeast. The reminder, if it's flooded, forget it. And then one motion. Whatever it takes to get to get that shot, yeah. 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 I like commitment. Yeah, I'm going to do four of these pops. Happy to two. Save the battery. Save the battery. Let's go. Gotta get out of the jungle first time. Um, timber. Last night, King Tom.
outside? Well, it caused even more damage to homes already on the brink of collapse there. The scenes here are being described as extremely serious with more damage overnight. Now, an east coast low combined with uh, a king tide. Saw beaches in these areas being eroded by up to 40 metres under a pounding by waves which reached up to 12 metres in height. Now, eight multi-million dollar properties are teetering on the brink of collapse in scenes that have been broadcast around the world over three hours on Sunday night. Eight homes here in Polaroy saw 15 metres of their front yards, including their beachfront swimming pools, swept into the ocean.